welcome back to Curse of Strange and Things. We're getting official today. We got the tie on, the hair's done up. We're ready to go. Let's check out this new one here back at the layout. We got a purple box behind us. Let's see what's behind it. It's brand new from MTH. We're going to check it out right here on Curse of Strange and Things. Let's go. So what is it? What's What's the mystery item behind the box here? Well, it was built between 1958 and 1963. Of that, just under 200 A units were built, and there were, in fact, B units built for this, this model as well, all from uh, General Electric's EMD, or Electromotive Division. And it was a big improvement because it was one of the first engines that they produced that had a turbocharged V16 prime mover and three axles on each truck, which gave it significant increase in tractive effort. And it is, drum roll please, the SD24. Let's check it out. So here's a closer look at this custom run from Metka. Now, MTH announced these in 2022. They were just delivered here at the beginning of May of 2023. Now, EMD produced these from 1958 to 1963. During that time, about 179 A units were built, and there were 45 cabless B units, and all of those B units went to the Union Pacific, which I thought was pretty interesting as I was doing my research. Now, B units were not produced by MTH in this run. They just did the A units, like the one that you see here. Now, as I mentioned, they in, this was the successor of the SD18. SD24, so it's got 2,400 horsepower. We've got three axles per truck and so that's a, a, an increase in tractive effort because of each tractive motor on there and the v16 turbocharged engine allowed it to operate at all sorts of altitudes which gave this a big advantage over its predecessor now these were originally built for the union pacific burlington route santa fe kennecott copper and the Southern as well. Now, the Duluth Misabe and Iron Range, or DM and IR, had actually a sample sent to them. One of the demonstrator units was painted up in their scheme, sent to them because GE thought that they would want one. They ended up not purchasing it. So you can actually pick up one of those paint schemes, which was a custom run by Mr. Muffins. There was a couple other custom runs done for these. As I mentioned, Muffins, Berwins, Toys and Trains did one as well but this is the metka version and i think it is super sharp really happy to have it here on the layout now this is an mth premier line engine so it's going to come with proto sound 3. it's going to have a dcc decoder on board as well if you wanted to convert this to two rail it has an abs plastic body but a die cast frame die cast truck so it is quite heavy coming in at four pounds ten ounces <clears throat> it's got a significant amount of pulling power it's got marker lights on the front and the rear. It's got illuminated number boards. It's got those protocouplers on the front and the rear as well. If we tilt this down a bit, you can see there's two pickup rollers on each truck. So it's got a good range of electrical pickup and it is quite long. However, it can operate on 031 curves. The middle wheel on those trucks is not flanged, which allows it to navigate some tighter curves, even though it is kind of a, a, a heftier locomotive. It feels like it should be smaller than it is, but it has a lot of pulling power. It can pull all these 21 inch cars that I've got behind it today without a problem. And those things are not the lightest cars in my fleet. So really, really cool here. Now these are 559.95. So when we're comparing that to some other O scale prices for premier or high end diesels, that's at the lower range probably for something of this size. So MTH has these things priced fairly well. Now it's all relative, this hobby is expensive, but they do have them priced fairly well. We've got some great add-on detailing with the piping work on the roof. We've got some tanks here where the horn placement is. On the Union Pacific and Southern version, we've got a high bell up here on the, the high hood as well, which is kind of a neat. So we've got some road specific detailing. We've got a lot of molded in detailing on the shell as we would expect. We do have some see-through venting here in the rear of the locomotive as well. We do have a fan-driven smoke unit. And if we tilt this down, it's a pretty large opening there, so it's pretty easy to fill this with smoke fluid. So a really cool locomotive in the lightning paint scheme here of New York Central. All right, so that wraps up this one. We're gonna send this thing around the layout. I hope you enjoyed this review today, everyone. Now these are still available in stores. They were just delivered. So be sure to go to one of your favorite stores to check one of these things out. 
I know Train World's got a bunch of these things in, so you can check it out there. Now, this one, again, is a custom run from our buddies over at Metka. So go to metka.org slash store, and you can get one of these today. Now, this paint scheme is pretty neat, and because it's a fantasy scheme, we're gonna run it with some Penn Central cars all in a what if scenario. So let's have some fun with this one, guys. Leave me a comment, what are your thoughts? Looking at some of the other options that were produced by MTH, which one's your favorite? Which one would you like to pick up? But these are pretty neat and much bigger than I expected them to be. These are pretty hefty locomotives and they've got a lot of pulling power. So let's go ahead and check it running around the layout. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Have an awesome day. <laughs> Not sure if you heard, but we got a hot box at 63.5. We're going to bring the train to a safe stop so the conductor can check it out. That's a Roger, Local Freight. Let me know what your conductor finds, over. Roger, Local Freight out. Conductor engineer, over. Engineer answering, over. Yeah, it smells like the brakes might be sticking on this car. Give me a release. Over. Roger, here comes the release. Roger, good release. Walk it back to you. Let's hope it doesn't lock up again. <laughs> 